Imagine a love story being written by God, the creator of the universe, with each chapter filled with the unexpected and the extraordinary. This video will introduce you to the awesome world of divine matchmaking, where God crafts unique and unconventional love stories that defy our plans and expectations. This is the ideal setting for the normal Christian who lets God choose their partner for them. Finding your life partner in marriage is one of the most exciting and rewarding experiences in life. But how do you know who God has chosen for you to marry? How do you recognize the signs that He's leading you to the right person? In this video, I'll share four weird things that often happen when God is showing you who He wants you to marry. These are not coincidences, but divine interventions that reveal God's perfect plan for your love life, both now and in the future. Let's get started. Number one, conflicting fears or past traumas. The first weird thing God may use to reveal that He wants you to marry someone is that your past experiences, fears, wounds, or even trauma and those of your future partner come into conflict. God often uses this to encourage both of you to reveal each other's hidden limitations and fears and to seek deeper healing. We often think that when God brings people together, He seeks to bring perfect people with similar histories, but that's not true. God doesn't simply unite two individuals without any issues. Instead, He often pairs His people with people who have different kinds of wounds or fears. In other words, the challenges these two individuals have can provoke each other's struggles. For example, let's consider this. Picture a situation where a woman worries about being late for every appointment and plans are scheduled down to the minute. While a man has a more laid back approach and often runs late due to a relaxed sense of time. The divergence in time management styles can lead to frustration and misunderstandings in their relationship. The woman may be triggered by the man, feeling like he doesn't take her seriously by showing up late. And the man may be triggered, feeling she takes things too seriously and makes a big deal out of nothing. But when God's in the relationship, He'll use these challenges to help them find their identity and security in Christ and each other. The Bible says in Proverbs 27:17, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. These moments of friction can lead to significant personal development. Although it can be a painful process, God often uses our most important relationships to help us grow and heal. Without these relationships exposing and confronting your wounds, you might never deal with them. And in some cases, you may never even know that you've had such deep wounds in the first place. But since God has given you this relationship that you really care about, He'll use it as a way to push you into deeper healing than you would have had otherwise. Number 2. Unexpected Paths more often than not, God has a knack for bringing you and your future spouse together in ways you never would have expected. Many single believers have an idea about how they'll meet their future spouses, but God usually has different ideas. Remember, He says that, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Isaiah 55.9 most of the time, God will bring you and your future spouse together in an unexpected manner. You may have always envisioned meeting your future partner at a cozy bookstore, at church, or in class. However, don't be surprised if it doesn't happen that way. God may have something else for you two in mind. Or perhaps if they don't fancy attending large social events, it may surprise you when God introduces you to your future spouse at a bustling festival. You might have never imagined sharing a meal with a stranger on vacation, but this could be the delightful surprise God intends for you to experience. Now, don't get me wrong. We can't engineer these unusual relationship experiences simply by doing the opposite of what we desire. However, we must remember that God ultimately holds the reins of our lives and can turn the hearts of kings wherever He deems fit. Proverbs 21.1 in the Lord's hand, the king's heart is a stream of water that he channels towards all who please him. Number three, accepting individual quirks or differences. 
As you get to know someone better, you'll realize that everyone has their quirks. Some people laugh too loudly, talk too softly, have nightly routines, or enjoy hobbies others find pointless. What's important to make any relationship work is acceptance. You have to know that no two people are exactly alike. In a compatible relationship, you'll find a high degree of tolerance for each other's idiosyncrasies. We humans are a peculiar bunch. Reading novels captivates some, while others would rather engage in hands-on tasks. The key point here is that each person is a unique individual, so it's perfectly fine if you go on a date with someone and find certain aspects about them irksome. It simply means it's not the right match. But when God puts a man and a woman together, there'll still be some annoying things that they both do. If the relationship is meant to be, this couple will have a large amount of acceptance for the differences between them. Number four, facing challenges together. Love is often exhibited in unusual ways, especially when facing adversity. True love prompts a couple to move towards each other during challenging times instead of retreating. In fact, faithfulness in the face of challenges is one proof of genuine love. And of course, we can see that this mirrors the profound love between Christ and the church, described in Ephesians 5, 22 to 33. It says in verses 28 to 31, in the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. When we encounter imperfections or challenges, our natural instinct might be to create distance, but true love inspires us to stand together unwavering in the face of adversity. One of the most beautiful aspects of love is how it shines even brighter during life's toughest trials. In any God-ordained relationship, it's crucial to understand that imperfections and difficulties are inevitable. However, it's precisely during these times that God's grace becomes the cornerstone that upholds the relationship. As you seek your life partner, Envision someone who'll not only stand with you during life storms, but will do so with unwavering devotion. Look for a love that grows stronger when faced with adversity, one that reflects the same love Christ has for his church. This kind of love will be your anchor and shield, allowing you to face life's battles without fear, knowing that you're never alone. It's in finding this love that you'll discover a partner who is truly meant to journey with you through the highs and lows of life, hand in hand. Permit me to quickly say this. While it's natural to distance oneself when confronted with flaws, true love helps couples weather difficult moments. While it's normal to run away from someone who has flaws and who's hurt you, this is not how Christ has treated his bride, the church. He stays with us and keeps loving us even when things get hard. Unless a relationship becomes damaging and intentionally destructive, and unless God directs you out of it, don't always look to run away because of imperfections in those he sends your way. Remember that you're imperfect too. Don't feel that you're better than someone because you aren't limited by the same things that make them fall. Therefore, it's essential to remember that even in a marriage ordained by God, imperfections and difficulties will arise but His grace will sustain the relationship. Dear friends, by understanding these peculiar aspects of recognizing the one God wants you to marry, you can better navigate this transformative journey of settling down into a lifelong, happy marriage. Remember that our differences should not turn us against each other, but they should help us see how wonderfully and beautifully made we are. At times, the image we've painted of our ideal partner doesn't quite align with the person God introduces to our life. This misalignment may stem from various superficial expectations, a particular level of intellect, or even an envisioned appearance. However, 
Beneath the surface, the core values, the essence of love and respect, often resonate on a divine frequency. It's essential to embrace a heart of discernment, peeling away the worldly lens to view the soul standing before us through a divine prism. When God orchestrates this divine rendezvous, He's already ventured into the realms of our future, understanding every crest and trough of the journey ahead. He selects a companion capable of sailing through the tumultuous yet exhilarating waves of life alongside us, someone whose presence is a balm, nurturing growth, fostering love, and championing dreams into fruition. The Bible reminds us in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. This scripture isn't merely poetic. It's a compass guiding us towards divine love, urging us to transcend our limited understanding, to trust in God's superior matchmaking. Moreover, the Bible elucidates the importance of honor and respect in relationships. Ephesians 4, 2 and 3 says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. These virtues are the cornerstone of a flourishing relationship, a nurturing environment where love blossoms under God's tender gaze. As we navigate the waters of love, it's pivotal to remain open, to allow God's choice to envelop our hearts, to share laughter, tears, and dreams with this person, releasing our rigid expectations and embracing a spirit of acceptance and excitement. For the divine narrative unfolding is the key to uncovering the treasure that God has sent our way. Each soul we cross paths with carries within it a story, a lesson, or a blessing awaiting to be unraveled. The essence of divine love is embodied in the scripture, 1 Corinthians 13, 7. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Within the tapestry of God's interactions, God, in His infinite wisdom, orchestrates encounters with souls that bear the potential of reflecting His love through the sanctity of companionship. Now, picture this, a serene lake, its surface smooth and calm. Each individual we meet ripples across our heart's waters, some briefly, others create waves that resonate deeply within. Among them lies one, a ripple destined to become a wave of love, of understanding, of lifelong companionship. But the discernment of such divine orchestration demands a heart attuned to the rhythm of love and patience. Like a seed destined to bloom into a flourishing tree under the nurturing gaze of the sun, so is the love destined to bloom between souls under the divine radiance of God's blessings. However, Fear, doubt, or pride may sometimes veil our hearts, rendering us blind to the divine cues. Our actions, a reflection of our inner turmoil, may unknowingly push away the very soul destined to be our companion in life's beautiful yet arduous journey. By shedding the veil of ego, by nurturing humility and understanding, we pave the way for God to usher into our lives the soul destined to walk beside us. Each interaction, a divine appointment, holds within it the potential of unveiling blessings, lessons, and divine love. It behooves us to tread gently with open hearts and discerning spirits in this journey of love. Remember, in the realm of divine love, patience is a virtue, understanding a beacon, and an open heart the key to unlocking the doors of heavenly companionship. Humans as we are, we sometimes get entangled in the superficial. We let minor disagreements or differences in taste cloud the divine message. Perhaps they don't appreciate your culinary explorations, or their sense of style doesn't align with the modern trends. These superficial judgments act like veils that obscure the divine resonance we initially felt. It's vital to remember that a lifelong companionship isn't about sharing a liking for the same style of dress or having gourmet tastes align. 
It's about the harmonious rhythm of souls, a rhythm that echoes the love and acceptance emblematic of Proverbs 31, 10, and 11. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. Our shallow preferences can sometimes act like shackles, holding us back from embracing the soulmate God has sent our way. What matters in a lifelong union goes beyond the surface. It's not about the fleeting charm or the transient trends. It's about the enduring grace, the shared faith, and the mutual journey towards spiritual growth. Much like the biblical love illustrated between Ruth and Boaz. In Ephesians 4, 2 and 3, we're guided with the words, With all lowliness and meekness, with long-suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. These verses remind us to look beyond superficial differences, urging us to foster a bond that's rooted in love, patience, and understanding. As you navigate the path of Christian dating, remember, the right partner will not just resonate with your heart, but will also help you grow closer to God. They'll stand by you, reflecting the love and acceptance that's depicted in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, a love that's patient, kind, and devoid of envy. So, let not the worldly judgments deter you. Embrace the divine resonance. Let your heart be open to the soulmate God has sent your way. We perceive love through a lens smeared with the hues of past pains, prejudices, and fears. We become judges, weighing the perceived flaws and shortcomings of those we encounter. Yet, within these earthly vessels lie a divine essence waiting to be uncovered, cherished, and loved. It's a journey of grace, patience, and understanding. As you unveil the beauty dwelling within the soul God has guided towards you, in the scriptures, we find profound wisdom guiding our steps on this voyage of love. Colossians 3.13 teaches us, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. This is the cornerstone of a God-centered relationship, an expedition of forgiveness and unconditional love mirroring the love God showers upon us, flawed yet dearly beloved. At times, the journey may seem riddled with challenges. The road may appear rocky. Yet amidst the tempest lies a divine promise of a love rooted in God's perfect design. The path may twist and turn, yet with God at the helm, love will find its way. Navigating through the storms, blossoming in the serene gardens of trust, respect, and mutual growth. It's a venture of faith, stepping into the realm of love, with a heart open, ready to embrace, learn, and grow together. Discarding the shackles of past judgments, welcoming love with a spirit of humility and understanding. The veil of ego, fear, and doubt dissipates when we choose love a choice aligning with God's magnificent plan of union between hearts. The essence of this voyage isn't encapsulated in the waiting, but in the grace with which we navigate through the waves of uncertainty, holding on to the anchor of faith. It's the quiet persistence, the underlying hope that molds us, refining our essence, preparing us for the companionship that's on the horizon. You might find yourself at a juncture in life where your heart yearns for a companionship that echoes the love of Christ. You've sowed seeds of emotional intelligence, nurtured financial stability, and now you stand on the shore, gazing at the horizon, awaiting the arrival of love. The journey thus far may have been accompanied by storms of heartbreak, the echoes of past loves leaving a lingering melody of melancholy. And yet, in the quiet whisper of your heart, there lies a hope, a belief that the story God has penned for you holds a chapter filled with love, trust, and divine companionship. We're reminded of Psalm 27, 14, to wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. 
there's a melody of hope in these divine words, urging us to embrace patience, to find courage in the waiting, and to believe in the promise of love designed by God. It's not about halting the quest for love, but about relinquishing the reins, trusting that at the divine juncture, your paths will intertwine with the one whose heart echoes the rhythm of yours. When doubt attempts to overshadow faith, let the words from Exodus 14.14 14 be the beacon of hope, and you have only to be silent. It's a gentle reminder to trust the divine timing, to surrender control, and to believe that the heart destined to beat in harmony with yours is on its way, guided by the hands of God. In the serenity of surrender, there's a sublime assurance, an unspoken promise that the love orchestrated by God is worth every moment of prayer, every tear shed in longing, and every hope sown in faith. And as you continue to trust in the divine plan, remember, the heart destined to resonate with yours is journeying towards you under the same canopy of stars, guided by the same divine love. Exploring the depths of love is truly a lifelong journey. It's like embarking on a beautiful adventure, isn't it? We're constantly uncovering the mysteries that reside within our hearts, and it's an amazing experience because it's constantly changing us into better people who will bring peace to our partners. And so, God lets us walk this path of discovery so that we can ultimately find fulfillment in our future with the one He has chosen for us. Today, let's delve into the way God unveils the person He is destined for you. It's a topic that's both fascinating and significant in our marital journey. This topic is quite interesting because it deals with the stressful side of things God might use in guiding you to the One. My hope is that through this discussion, you will find illumination and clarity regarding God's will for your life. First and foremost, have you ever found yourself feeling adrift in life? Perhaps there have been months where you felt lost, uncertain of which direction to turn in your relationship. At these times, it's crucial to recognize that they present an opportunity for you to stand firm alongside God and deepen your relationship with Him. It's during these moments of uncertainty that God reveals the presence of hope and the promise of love. Often we find ourselves wishing that God would simply point out the right person for us and we could then embark on the journey together. However, God may bring the person into your life and keep them at a distance, according to what He deems best for you. He may first lead you to a place where you feel out of sorts, bewildered and lost, so that you can ultimately find your way to Him and discover satisfaction and completeness. It's in this season that He will reveal the right person to you. The Holy Spirit plays a vital role in guiding your thoughts and emotions during these times of confusion. It's through His divine presence that God calls you to draw near to Him, to give Him your complete attention, and to allow Him to be your unwavering companion on the journey of self-discovery. God wants you to understand that even in these moments of tranquility, you can still discover love and affection. You don't have to fear or worry. When God is first, the things you need will fall into place. Secondly, it's natural to experience a period of waiting, whether it's for someone or something you're anticipating. However, when it comes to waiting on God, it's important to embrace it as a season of receiving divine guidance for the next phase of life. The guidance of the Holy Spirit aims to prepare you for the person He has destined for you, someone who will love and cherish you, enriching your life, another aspect to embrace during this waiting period is that it can be a season of divine healing. When facing challenges in a relationship, it may be a sign that God doesn't want you to proceed with that relationship. God keeps you waiting so that He can heal, shape, and refine you into a better person, ready for someone special. Our God is perfect, and He sees the end from the beginning. Your season of waiting is a time when He leads you to the person He has chosen for you. The remarkable thing about God is that He acts at the perfect time. His timing is extraordinary and undoubtedly results in something beautiful. As Ecclesiastes 3.11 states, He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from the beginning to end. 
Nonetheless, the season of waiting can be challenging, as it may feel like things aren't progressing as expected. The purpose of this waiting is to strengthen your faith and trust in God, believing that He will guide you through this phase and lead you to the person He has in store for you. So don't give up yet. Trust the Lord and know that He is working in the background. This brings me to the third stressful thing God might use to reveal your partner, trusting Him for guidance. Trust is a crucial element when seeking God's guidance and direction. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 reminds us too, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Finding the right person for you can indeed be a challenging journey in life. Scripture emphasizes the importance of combining faith with action. It stresses that faith without action is futile. To navigate the process of finding a suitable partner, it's vital to seek God's guidance and rely on His wisdom. Just as Jesus trusted God to lead Him in His earthly ministry, we too can seek God's guidance for our search for a life partner. This can be accomplished through prayer, fasting, and immersing ourselves in God's Word. By strengthening our faith and seeking God's wisdom, we can discern His will for our lives and make choices that align with His plan. This involves cultivating a steadfast faith that endures trials and temptations. When we are rooted in God's teachings, we are less likely to stumble or enter into relationships that are not in line with His intentions for us. It's important to understand that seeking God's guidance does not guarantee an effortless journey. However, by seeking His guidance and surrendering ourselves to His will, we can have confidence that He will lead us to the right person. Trusting in God's timing and remaining faithful in our pursuit is essential. So if finding the right person feels like a daunting mountain before you, I encourage you to wholeheartedly seek God. Dedicate time to prayer, listen for His voice, and follow His guidance in your decision-making process. Strengthen your faith through studying His Word and trust that He will lead you to choose the person compatible with His plans for your life. The fourth point is that when God reveals your partner, be prepared for the unexpected. You may have found someone you deeply love, but there will be moments of incompatibility where your likes are their dislikes and vice versa. You might wonder if this relationship will lead to a fulfilling marriage or if you should wait before committing. God wants both of you to confront these challenges and believe that you can overcome them with time. According to Philippians 4.13, I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. If God is bringing you together at the right place and time, He will make it possible for you. Trust that God is diligent and careful, and He will work things out for both of you. Instead of being afraid of what you see, believe that God will not let you down. In James 1, 6-8, it emphasized that when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Doubt leads to instability, and one should not expect to receive anything from the Lord if they are double-minded. This scripture encourages you to invite God into your relationship. If you see positive signs, understand that it is God who has orchestrated it and desires the two of you to be together. Trust that, regardless of the current situation, there is always a way through with God. The fifth point is God will reveal true love to you by dispelling immature expectations. The truth is many of us have an idealized or fantasized image of the kind of person we think we deserve or want. However, your idealized image of a spouse may not align with God's plan for you. So God allows the removal of these fantasies to foster personal growth and maturity, not to separate you from your desires. Though this process may initially lead to findings of disappointment or brokenness, it serves a deeper purpose. By letting go of unrealistic expectations, you have the opportunity to develop a more realistic understanding of yourself and your relationships. Through this transformative experience, you will gain maturity and a clearer insight into the kind of love and partnership that God intends for you. It's crucial to embrace this process with patience and trust in God's plan. Despite feeling disappointed or broken, know that God is close to the brokenhearted, as stated in Psalm 34:18. God allows certain things to be removed so that you can gain a deeper understanding of what love truly is and how He intends for you to love your spouse. This process aims to develop a sublime and enduring love, which cannot be easily dismissed or discarded. 
I encourage you to trust in God throughout this journey, knowing that everything He does serves a purpose that must be fulfilled because His divine plan is at work. By trusting in God's intentions and guidance, you can understand this process of understanding love and fulfilling your purpose in relationships. Just like we stated at the beginning of this video, understanding the process of love is a unique journey. The challenges and difficulties you face in choosing the right partner will not only strengthen your faith, but also bring out the best in you. Before you can be with the person he has ordained for you, God will use this process of shaping you into the person who will explore and understand the true meaning of love. Although it may be challenging, the end result will lead to a beautiful future. It's important to acknowledge that none of us are perfect, but we are all works in progress. In a relationship, it's not about showcasing your best self, but about being true to yourself to make the relationship work. In conclusion, God is available to those who patiently and diligently seek Him. His guidance is perfect and everlasting. By drawing closer to Him, everything will fall into place for you. Trust in His timing and guidance as you navigate the journey of love. It's not uncommon to encounter moments of doubt and uncertainty. Perhaps you find yourself at a crossroads, questioning whether to continue your journey with your significant other. Emotions run high as you grapple with feelings of being undervalued or overlooked. It's tempting, isn't it? To make a stand, to declare your worth by stepping away from a relationship that seems to be teetering on the edge. However, it's crucial to pause and consider a deeper perspective. What if in these moments of turmoil, God is whispering a different message? What if he's urging you to hold on a little longer? to see beyond the immediate frustrations. Consider the story of Ruth in the Bible. Her journey wasn't easy. She faced loss, uncertainty, and the challenge of starting over in a foreign land. Yet she chose to stay loyal, to hold on to the relationships that mattered, trusting in God's plan. Her story reminds us that sometimes our human impulse to flee must be tempered by spiritual discernment. It's easy to feel that your partner doesn't appreciate you, and it's simpler to think of walking away as a solution. But remember, relationships are not just about the highs, they're also about navigating the lows together. Like a ship braving the storm, sometimes our bonds are tested to become stronger. Reflect on 1 Corinthians 13, four to seven, which beautifully articulates the essence of love, patient, kind, enduring, this scripture isn't just poetic, it's a guiding principle. It challenges us to look beyond our immediate emotions and consider the bigger picture of our relationships. Is it possible that what you perceive as a failing relationship might actually be an opportunity for growth, both personally and together? This isn't to say that every relationship must be clung to at all costs. It's about understanding the difference between a challenging phase and a fundamentally unhealthy partnership. It's about recognizing when God's calling you to persevere, to invest in patience and understanding rather than walking away in haste. Let's face it, not every love story unravels like a perfect fairy tale. In real life, relationships can start with a series of missteps and uncertainties. Picture this, one person's ready to dive in while the other is hesitant, possibly due to past hurts or fears of commitment. It's like a dance where one is eager to move forward and the other is still learning the steps. Imagine you've done everything by the book. You've been the supportive friend, the thoughtful partner. You've celebrated their triumphs, stood by them in their lows, and perhaps even bonded with their family. Yet the response you long for, that mutual desire for a deeper commitment, seems just out of reach. It's a challenging season, one where hope can feel distant and doubts begin to creep in. But here's where faith takes center stage. If you sense God's whisper in your heart telling you to hold on, that's a call for obedience, for trust beyond understanding. It's about believing that God's plans for your life, including your romantic relationships, are rooted in goodness and purpose. He doesn't guide us without a reason. 
His paths, though mysterious at times, lead to fulfillment. Let's turn to the Bible for a moment. In Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. This verse reminds us that our understanding is limited, but God sees the bigger picture. Also, consider the story of Ruth and Boaz. Ruth, a widow, finds herself in a foreign land, yet she trusts in God's plan. Her journey wasn't straightforward, but her faith and patience led her to Boaz, a relationship that was part of God's greater plan, not just for them, but for generations to come. In these moments of waiting and uncertainty, remember that God's timing is perfect. He knows the desires of your heart and the right time for them to flourish. This period of waiting isn't a pause. It's a time of growth, of building a foundation of faith, patience, and trust in God's perfect plan for your life. Remember, every season in our lives, including the waiting times and relationships, has a purpose. Hold on to faith keep your heart open to God's guidance and trust that he's weaving a story far greater than any fairy tale. Consider the concept of communal confirmation. This isn't about running a popularity contest for your relationship, but rather seeking wisdom in a multitude of counselors, as Proverbs 15.22 suggests. If you find yourself hearing consistent advice from spiritually mature individuals whom you trust, take it seriously. These voices could be vessels through which God is speaking, offering you insights and perspectives you might have missed. Another avenue through which God often communicates is dreams. Dreams can be mysterious, but they can also be revelatory. If you find themes or messages about your relationships recurring in your dreams, it might be worth pondering over. However, remember to weigh these dreams against the truth of the Scripture. As Jeremiah 23, 28 reminds us, Let the prophet who has a dream tell the dream, but let the one who has my word speak it faithfully. Pay attention to the still small voice within you. This isn't about the loud, clamorous demands of our desires, but the quiet nudging of the Holy Spirit. It's easy to confuse our wants with God's will but there's a distant peace and clarity that comes when we're in alignment with His plans. Sometimes it's not about the grand gestures or the undeniable signs, but the gentle whispers that guide us towards patience and perseverance in a relationship. And finally, consider the alignment with God's Word. The Bible is a lamp unto our feet, as Psalm 119.105 declares. Does the relationship bring you closer to God? Does it encourage you to grow in faith, hope, and love? If your relationship aligns with the principles and precepts of the Bible, it might be a sign to hold on. Think of Joseph, a man who faced a bewildering situation with Mary, his betrothed. Mary's unexpected pregnancy in a time when they had not been together posed a significant challenge for Joseph. In a society where such occurrences could lead to severe consequences, Joseph's initial response was to quietly end the engagement, to spare Mary any public disgrace. However, in a moment of divine intervention, an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. This wasn't just any dream, but a pivotal message from God. The angel revealed to Joseph that Mary's pregnancy was not a result of infidelity, but a miraculous work of the Holy Spirit. This revelation was a game changer for Joseph. He was asked to look beyond the surface, to trust in a plan far greater than his understanding. This story isn't just about Joseph and Mary. It's about us, too. It's about those moments in our relationships when things don't make sense, when we're tempted to walk away because we can't see the bigger picture. It's in these times that we need to pause and seek God's guidance to discern whether we're facing a mere obstacle or a divine assignment. Remember, what may appear as a flaw or a mistake in someone could actually be a part of a greater plan that God's unfolding. It's not about ignoring red flags or dismissing genuine concerns, 
but about being open to the possibility that God might be working in ways we don't immediately understand. As we navigate these waters, it's vital to lean on scriptures for wisdom and guidance. Proverbs 3, 5-6 advises us to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and not on our own understanding. In all our ways we should acknowledge Him and He will make our path straight. This wisdom is not just ancient words, it's a living, breathing guide for our daily lives, especially in matters of the heart. So as you ponder over your relationships, remember the story of Joseph and Mary. It teaches us to seek God's will, to be open to His guidance, and to trust that sometimes holding on might just be part of a divine plan, a plan that leads to growth, understanding, and perhaps an unexpected journey of love and faith. You might find yourself trying to steer clear of someone, thinking that's the wise thing to do. But like the unexpected twists and turns in the path of a maze, you might find yourselves brought together. It's essential to recognize that in God's plan, there are no coincidences. Proverbs 16.9 tells us, The heart of a man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. This isn't about random chance, it's about divine orchestration. In these moments, it's important to let go of our preconceptions and trust in God's timing. Often we are like children trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, not realizing that God has the perfect peace waiting for us. It's about learning to be still, to listen, and to let God lead. Isaiah 30, 21 says, Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way. Walk in it. As we conclude, let's take a moment to pray. Dear Lord, guide our steps in our hearts. Help us to recognize your hand in our relationships and give us the patience and wisdom to follow your lead. In Jesus' name, amen. If this message resonates with you, type amen in the comments below. And remember, if you're finding value in these discussions, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It's not just about growing our channel. It's about building a community where we can share, learn, and grow in faith together. So as we walk this path of faith and relationships, let's hold on to the promise that when God says hold on to someone, He's leading us towards something beautiful and purposeful. In the journey of love, especially when seeking a godly partner, it's not uncommon to find yourself drawn to someone unexpectedly. It may even be challenging when your feelings aren't reciprocated immediately, despite believing that this person is meant to be your godly spouse. Dearly beloved, it's crucial to recognize that God operates in His unique way, revealing His plan to us at different times. God's ways are different from ours because He sees the bigger picture. He knows the past experiences and hurts that your potential spouse may have endured, making it difficult for them to open up to love again. He may be using you to show them the possibility of love once more. When God reveals your partner to you, it's also an opportunity for you to discern and accept His choice willingly. Remember, God never forces a spouse on anyone, and understanding His timing is crucial. If your feelings are not reciprocated immediately, do not be disheartened. God doesn't waste time, and His instructions have a purpose. If He has directed you to develop feelings for someone, it's not in vain. Keep the faith, stay committed, and trust in God's timing. It's essential to persevere, knowing that those who follow God's guidance and direction never regret it. Trust that, in time, everything will fall into place according to God's divine plan. In navigating this challenging period, remember to anchor your trust in God. Pray for the grace and understanding to love, even if the feelings are not reciprocated. It's crucial to recognize that these feelings are orchestrated by God, not mere infatuation or personal desires. God desires clarity, not confusion, and He wants you to comprehend His process. If you find yourself in this situation, 
trust that there's a purpose. Understanding that purpose is the first step before God leads you out of this phase. God may allow these feelings to persist to teach you patience and maturity in various aspects of your life. Accept this process. If you make improvements, God may change the situation in due time. If God doesn't intend for you to love that person, He may redirect your path. God's care and love mirror the discipline of earthly parents ensuring that his children stay on the right path. Embrace the process, trust in God's wisdom, and remember that his plans are always for your ultimate good. Friends, it's a profound truth that God can instill love within you for someone who may not reciprocate those feelings. This experience serves as a lesson to continuously love, even in the face of rejection. God, being omnipotent, uses various methods to teach his children, and sometimes it's through the complex emotion of loving someone who may not love you in return. This process allows you to comprehend and embody unconditional love, mirroring God's genuine love for you. Many people profess love for God verbally, but their hearts and actions may not align. God places these feelings within you to teach you how to extend love to those who may not initially receive it, helping you to understand how the love of God works. This is very important to learn because of the world we live in today. In a world marked by selfishness and hatred, genuine love can be a transformative force. God may be using your love as a means to teach someone who has forgotten how to love or has been wounded by previous experiences. Initially, this journey may be challenging, as your gestures may be met with rejection and your sincerity misunderstood. It requires patience and understanding that there may be a story behind the person's reluctance to accept love. They may have endured hardships and betrayal, making it difficult for them to trust in sincere love. Your role, orchestrated by God, is to become a vessel of love teaching them the reasons to love again. As time progresses, God's plan will unfold, aligning everything according to His purpose, since He is the one who has placed these feelings within you. Trust in His wisdom, and let your love be a guiding light for those who have lost the will to love. The Bible beautifully outlines the true essence of love in 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7. Love is patient, kind, free of envy, boasting, and pride. It honors others, does not seek its own interests, is slow to anger, and forgives freely. Love rejoices in the truth and always protects, trusts, hopes, and perseveres. God's purpose in making you love someone, even without their reciprocation, is to bring meaning to love in their life. It's a profound way to demonstrate the unconditional love God extends to us. Love is a divine emotion, and as God is love, He has bestowed upon each of us the grace and ability to love one another. God's love for us persists despite our shortcomings, and He calls us to emulate this love on earth. Even when we were undeserving sinners, Christ sacrificed Himself for us, exemplifying the true meaning of love. In John 10:34. Jesus reminds us that we are like gods on earth, capable of representing Christ's love to our friends, families, and even those who may not seem deserving. The reality is that none of us truly deserves God's love, yet we are all recipients of His boundless love. Loving someone who may not love you back becomes a test, challenging you on various levels. Therefore, you need to make patience paramount in enduring this journey preventing frustration and the temptation to give up when your love feels unreciprocated. This test also becomes an opportunity for spiritual growth, as enduring through the challenges allows you to reflect on God's unwavering love, even in the face of adversity. Trust in God's plan and remain patient, for in doing so you become a vessel of His love on earth. In the journey of finding a life partner, it is natural to feel overwhelmed and uncertain, especially when past experiences or societal opinions cast doubt on the process. However, 
we can find genuine guidance and assurance in the unfailing wisdom of God. By aligning our thoughts with God's Word and disregarding the world's judgment, we open ourselves to divine revelations about choosing the right spouse. Friends, it is important to recognize that God's love for us is constant, and He desires to spare us from any emotional burdens that may arise in the future. Therefore, understanding God's role as the ultimate matchmaker adds a profound dimension to our understanding of relationships. Beyond being our Creator, Healer, Deliverer, Protector, and Provider, God is also actively involved in the business of matchmaking. This is not a mere obligation, but a divine responsibility that our Heavenly Father takes on. In our pursuit of a godly marriage, it is crucial to acknowledge the need to obey and cooperate with God. However, many of us find it challenging to heed God's guidance and may even choose to ignore His whispers about a specific individual. But we need to know that disobedience can lead to mistakes and result in veering off the path that God has set for us. When we trust in God and seek His direction in relationships, we demonstrate a transformative act of faith. We should earnestly seek Him. By doing so, we not only please Him, but also establish a firm foundation for a relationship that can withstand the test of time. And how do we seek God for our partner? The process of seeking God's direction involves prayer and a willingness to follow His lead. God, in His all-knowing nature, guides us through both the known and unknown aspects of life. Although the world may deem such trust as foolish, having faith in God's promises is the key to enduring trials and overcoming challenges. Hebrews 11.6 says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists, and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. This verse emphasizes the significance of faith in pleasing God, and embarking on the journey towards a godly marriage requires unwavering faith. Seeking God's guidance and partnering with Him ensures that everything falls into place according to His divine plan. When God is involved with the process of selecting a spouse, it surpasses mere human calculations. The world may mock such faith, but in God's eyes, it is an act of trust and obedience. Our faith becomes the vehicle through which God orchestrates His divine plan for our relationships. Having faith means refraining from comparing ourselves to others, as each person's journey is unique. Engaging in comparisons only breeds frustration, especially when it feels like others are progressing faster. It is important to remember that elevation and blessings come solely from God. The story of Abraham's servant selecting a wife for Isaac serves as a powerful illustration of the significance of seeking God's guidance in relationships. Trusting in Him and following His plan leads to a fulfilling and lasting marriage that aligns with His perfect will. My sincere prayer is that you emerge strengthened during this phase, and that God, who has placed these emotions within you, will reveal the purpose behind them and guide you on how to navigate them. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. If you've found this video uplifting, kindly give it a thumbs up share this video, and subscribe to our channel.